My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Eggs have built up since we went to Rome. I've got too many now. So I'm going to put them in a bag because I don't have any more egg boxes. I'm going to put them down to Carla's parents. Five, six, seven, eight, and that leaves me ten. I'm going to try and get those down the mountain without breaking them. Little does Holly Poo know she's not actually coming with me. I'm taking her down to Carlo and leaving her. I have completely auto-invited myself this morning. I was messaging with Zia Lucy and we were trying to organise to go and watch the olives being pressed, but they're not doing that until much later in this afternoon when it's almost dark. And she mentioned that she was going chestnut picking in Poggerola. So I've invited myself along because I've never actually done that. There is um, a lot of chestnut trees up on the tops of the mountains in this area and every October there's, uh, there's chestnut festivals and all sorts of things going on and I've never really participated in it because I've always been busy working so at least today we're going to go and pick some chestnuts hopefully. Holly has already found Carla and I just need to give him the eggs. Hello. Eggs for Mama. Okay, good. Are you going to stay with Daddy? Yeah, stay with Daddy today. Okay, so Holly has to now be tied up, otherwise she will follow me and try to come with me. So I'm going to make my escape while she's not watching and go and meet Lucy at the road. And this is the view from the car park of Poggerola, where we've just arrived. I'm with Lucy. Good morning. <laughs> and we're going to meet up with her friend Alessandro, and he's going to take us hunting for chestnuts. Yeah, the magic fountain. <laughs> So today I am with Alessandro, Ciao. who is going to be taking us up to where the, the castagni, Cast what they called in English? Chestnuts. Chestnuts, yeah. He's going to take us up to where chestnuts are. And also joining us is the fabulous Cassandra, who's right here. And of course, Lucy. Okay, this is one of my favorite restaurants. It's called the Sorelle Ristori. A trattoria. It's not a restaurant, it's a trattoria. Do you know what is a trattoria? It's uh, similar, sort of, uh, similar to a restaurant, but più per uh, uh, Casareccio. It's like more home cooking. Home cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it is my favorite. It's called the Sorelle Rispoli. We always come here uh, when we do the Paper Mills Valley, which starts or ends here. Mm -hmm. This one is called uh, the Iron Factory Valley. And uh, women uh, who lived here uh, used to go downtown Amalfi to work uh, wow. on the paper mills uh, or in the iron factory. Am I right? Yes, you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's actually my ancestors who did it. Yeah, really? because, yeah, my mother's side. I probably didn't tell you this. Yeah, you didn't tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, it's the, um, my mother's side, my ancestors did it. Um, they walked from Poggerola, from Sobramare. Uh, all the way down. And then, in fact, uh, my mother said that my ancestors were called the centrellari, uh, the people who did the centrelle, the, the, centrelle. The, the nails in the in the iron works. Oh, okay. They were, uh, the, they were lo the centrelle were nails for sandals or other things because in the iron factory, uh, women uh, used to make the hard work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they were uh, they were producing uh, lots of centrelle who were those small things. Uh, nails. 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 Yeah. Yeah. 
The steps have suddenly ended right here and we are now coming more into mountain pathway heading up into the hills oh and we are suddenly veering off the pathway down into the woodlands What's this? So this used to be a, a clay pigeon shooting. Yeah, in fact, my my mother's uncle used to come here, and this was his pastime <laughs> with all the elders of Poggerola. He used to spend whole days here with this uh, activity. This view over the edge here. It's incredible. Not for the faint-hearted. First of all, well, there's something to go. Ah, and then the valley, it is nowadays called also Valley of the Mills. It's the, like, the itinerary for uh, visitors. But uh, originally, this was called the Ballone Grevone. No, in reality, we're going to the sorelle. We're going to the signorino of the school. Ah, Mangiate. Eh, facciamo il take away eh. e me la troppo presto. Poi noi vogliamo sederci a tavola, eh, tranquillo. E eh, vabbè, ma qui è meglio che sta eh, sentendo. So. Tanto te. Eh, vabbè. Ma quanti conigli avete? 4-5 adesso. Ah, sono eh. pochi. They have uh, a tradition here to eat rabbits. I really don't like rabbits, but uh, this is the way they choose to eat them. <laughs> Yeah. Boiled rabbits or uh, rabbit soup? Mm. In fact, it's something that I haven't ever shown on a video because I know we would be criticised non-stop is that one of Carlo's uncles raised rabbits for food and every now and again we get given one. We are already starting to see signs of chestnuts all along the floor. It's a little baby a, a little one! Baby one. <laughs> so we have two productions of chestnuts. We plant the trees uh, in different ways, right, Alessandro? Exactly. Because uh, here on the Amalfi Coast, especially on the upper side of the Amalfi Coast, uh, we plant the trees uh, just for wood, uh, like uh, this bench Exactly. Here. And uh, we grow trees in groups, uh, one next to the other, so they grow very thin and tall because they are chasing the sunlight. And after that, we just cut the trees, uh, clean them, uh, and we make benches. Uh, while here, uh, we plant uh, uh, we planted the trees uh, in uh, five meters of distance yes. each other five ten meters in this way they grow wide and they produce chestnuts yum exactly uh, and the type of chestnuts that we have they're called the zenzala zenzala yes no not zanzara, zenzala <laughs> yeah zanzala. <laughs> We were just there well, 20 minutes ago. Can we? <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's the, the view from there. And it's right above the um, Fore Horta. The, um... And this I'm guy here is saying that the there's the loads of chestnuts up there because the nobody's gone to collect them this year so far. So it looks like we're all going to come back with bagfuls of spiky chestnuts and we're going to be roasting them over the fire tonight if we can find somewhere to put the fire. Of, of course, uh, on, along the Amalfi Coast you have the, the main road, which was built in 1853, the, the Amalfi Drive. But before 1853, uh, people just moved around hiking, walking. And in the past, this used to be one of the main communication way between Amalfi and the rest of the world. The name of this pathway, of this route, was called Via Stabiana. It used to be fundamental for Amalfi, because Amalfi used to be isolated for centuries, until when they finally decided to build the road in 1853. So, as it is called Via Stabiana, it, um, uh, it, is, it goes from Amalfi, or actually started from Ravello, 
and then from Ravello Scala and then Amalfi here there was a link uh, from Amalfi and then all the way to the other side of the mountains uh, to Castellammare di Stabia, so Castellammare in the Gulf of Naples. Mm. So it was a long communication way, but wow. this was the ancient road of the coast. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And now we are definitely going off piste up to the chestnut forest. Let me just add, I am incredibly unprepared for this. Um, <laughs> Alessandro has got hiking boots, hiking boots, a rucksack, snacks, water, gloves for picking up chestnuts, a bag to put them in. I have got <laughs> absolutely nothing with me. I've got no water with me. I had my hiking boots in the car and I didn't go up to the car. So I'm just wearing trainers. I've got no gloves, obviously. I actually have a bag in my rucksack, which I could put the chestnuts in, but I don't know how I'm going to pick them up. So yes, I will. And I need to get all my hiking clothes back out of the box that they have been in all summer. Most wow. Are young. This like nice place amazing. I, I prefer, like, yeah, I hire people to do Mandra Guida, but I actually hire a lot of people on my own, so it's key not that I have to steeper and steeper but it seems to be getting prettier and prettier I just want to put this on record for Alessandro said this was going to be a nice easy relaxing walk it's a relaxing walk Okay, so if they're like in ah yeah yeah no even if they're if they if they're still inside it's okay I mean if you wear gloves you can still grab them and um, yeah you see if you check if they're okay if they do not have uh, holes and then because otherwise if you grab by mistake one of them which actually has holes and then every every chestnut then later with the days is gonna be eaten by the same oh it's like a little insect or Ex something. exactly ah. it's an insect. yeah there, there you go look at these amazing trees this is like an enchanted woodland here all these incredible trees i mean they're like like spread all over yeah you see like that like I can actually hear chestnuts falling off the trees occasionally. I've got my little bag out, so I've got something to put them in now. Uh, and the no, no, yeah, has just pointed out that we are uh, walking on a pathway of pumice stone. And I don't know about you, but my parents always had a pumice stone on the side of the bath to get the hard skin off your heels. It works really well. It's uh, from uh, Vesuvius eruption of the 1600s. Wow. Uh, because uh, even if Vesuvius is about uh, 30 miles far from here, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, the um, eruptions were so big, it's uh, a columnade of 15 kilometers, and then it spreads all over depending on the winds, mm -hmm. and uh, it arrived here. So Alessandro was telling us that it's very good for uh, the chestnuts because it absorbs the humidity and it uh, releases it uh, during the daytime so the chestnut don't need water every time then you have to ah, okay. a beauty one on ah, the yeah. no this is not a, a lot of um, but when you so yes imagine before my family with dry figs dry tomatoes and chestnuts you could survive the whole winter we didn't have this much food in uh, grocery stores life was so simple that with these just few things you could go on the whole family could just survive this. yeah survive for the whole winter uh, and don't be afraid to to grab the small ones because most of the times they taste much better than the big ones oh really yeah <laughs> <laughs>
we ever come across a lovely little building here. What is this? Cosa è questo posto? Questo è una carcara. Ah, lime kiln. A lime kiln. of San Benedetto Santa Scolastica, which is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, monastery of the Amalfi Coast. Uh, this comment appears already in documents dating back to the year 907. Wow. So it's very old. And for sure, one of the Dukes of Amalfi retired here and spent his life after his activity as a Duke of Amalfi. Before it was open, so everyone could get in and get the access and admire the view from there, because of course, as all the convents and monasteries, this has a gorgeous view. Look at this beautiful old wall covered in ferns. And a carpet of chestnuts. I've been, I've been around here so much and I spent so many... We're just coming back into Poggerola. We're all very, very yeah, hungry no, now, really so we're going to go to the yeah. Sorella Rispoli and have some lunch. Can't wait. Zia Lucy doing Instagram properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, right? Yeah, until they all one, roll off. One year. Lunch time. We have arrived at the Osteria Rispoli, which some of you might know is Carlo's surname, but this is no relation of him. Uh, it's quite a popular name in this area. And we're out on the terrace here. We have the place to ourselves. So here is what I managed to gather. Very pleased with my little haul. So we have ordered um, pasta made by hand with the Genovese sauce, which is um, a very, very long cooked sauce with onion and I think it's got some meat in it. I can't remember! <laughs> I'll show you when it arrives. <laughs> oh, how to do things. This is my lunch. I cannot wait to dig in. And I'm just going to show you Cassandra's because she has got the Siciliana, which looks amazing too. 